Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Claude Brown, the host of the Claude Apple Sports World, coming to you live from Leesburg, Virginia, Lowen County area, that is. Now, today I have some good news and some really bad news. The good news is Daniel Jones, I got to tell you, he most certainly did not disappoint. I'll consider him as MVP candidate, which, by the way, I think that's, it's really good. Yesterday, Danny Dimes, biggest comeback of them all, something that Eli Manning couldn't do. Maybe Eli Manning can learn something from Daniel Jones, or maybe learn something from Patrick Mahomes, at the very least. But Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes, my goodness, you can't stop him. He's going to be, like it or not, everybody, Danny Dimes is going to be the starting quarterback throughout the rest of this season. The Eli Manning era, over. The, Danny, the Daniel Jones era is going to be a full effect, like it or not, everybody. So that's what I got right there. Daniel Jones, congrats on your first debit. You put on a main comeback showcase, which you did. I know you guys are going to take out the skins anyway. Skins, they're, they're going to just get short, short by the Bears, and then they're going to get short by Daniel Jones and, and the G-Men. So I'm good with that. The breaking news and the really bad news, by the way, Saquon Barkley is going to be on the shelf for four to eight weeks with a sprained high ankle, with a high ankle sprain. So, my question is, how will Daniel Jones do without Saquon Barkley? I mean, Saquon, I mean, we saw Evan Ingram and um, Sling Shepard. They had touchdowns in that game yesterday. So, how are they going to do without Saquon Barkley? That's the question that remains. So. Hope Daniel Jones is going to get some more wins, by the way. Might have a winning streak, so it could happen. And Daniel Jones could be the X Factor. And also MVP candidate. Make no mistake about that. What he did, what the showcase that he did yesterday, <laughs> won't see anywhere else. So Daniel Jones, he looked ready. He was born ready. Danny Dimes scores my points. But my goodness, the defense wasn't full of fans. I got to tell you, he did not disappoint. I will say that for sure. I just don't know how they're going to do without Saquon Barley, by the way. So hopefully Daniel Jones is going to win more games. So that's what I got right there. All right, ladies and gents, that's going to do it right there for the Khalil the Humble Sports Report. Please be sure you all to subscribe to the Khalil the Humble Sports Report YouTube channel, Facebook page by any means necessary. Be sure to send me a comment, your tweet, your reactions, your thoughts on Daniel Jones. Impressive debit yesterday, taking out the Bucks by one point, 32 to 31. Let me know if you think, let me know if you think he's going to be MVP candidate. Let me know if you think he's going to do better. Without saying on Barkley, him and the G-Men that is doing better without saying on Barkley. And let me also know if you think the G-Men are going to be pretenders or contenders. Let me know about that. I will respond to address that for sure. And let me know if you think, what, and send your thoughts and condolences out to Sinko Barkley as, he, as he's dealing with the um, high ankle sprain, by the way. So please do so in the comments section by any means necessary. So that's all I, got, all I got right there. So that's all I'm going to do right there. I'll be more breaking news. Shane Thomas, live updates, development, swim lines. Whole lot more in the Clue Bible Sports Board, all things sports, everything you need. That's all there is. So take care, everybody. You guys have a good day. Bye bye.